Hey everyone, so welcome to part two of our video. Uh, now this second part is going to be strictly optional, but it is recommended. Now this can be a little bit confusing, I'll just explain it. Right now it's November 4th of 2011. Uh, ABGX is still on 1.0.5, which means there's no update right now uh, to verify your XGD3 games. Now, th this gets annoying because I like to verify them, but as long as it's an 800 rip, you should have everything on there and you should be good to go. But um, it's, just, it's always good to see it, you know? I'd rather verify, but whatever. Um, so that's it. Uh, you have to either trust yourself or trust the Ripper. Uh, for an XGD3 game, I'll show you what happens. You got your ABGX360 here, and if it's loaded up, you open that up, and it stops right there, saying that it's not recognized as a 360 game or a stealth file. So that's it. However, I will run this here. Actually, I'm going to show you all this. This is really the only thing we can do to verify right now. Uh, if you have Xbox Backup Creator, you can open it up, go to Image Tools, and go to Get Region. There you go, Region Free. So really, that's the only thing that we can verify on these images right now, unfortunately. Um, if anything, if if you're, I don't know, if you're down, if you get a rip that, I don't know, it's, um, it's only NTSC, but it says Region Free, you can double check it to make sure it's Region Free. But that's all we can verify right now with XGD3 games. Now you have to remember also, any XGD2 game will be 7.29 gigabytes. Any XGD3 game will be 8.13 gigabytes. So there is a difference in size. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. But I'll show you this. I also ripped Banjo-Kazooie just because I need to back that up too. But as you can see, I'm going to show you. Everything is green, and I have not verified this yet. This is my first time verifying, which this just proves that uh, this program loads everything into there. So as you can see, it checks out all that stuff. And, I mean, you can go ahead and let it uh, check for you. That's all right. But um, then I'll show you. Just again, these are the settings that you should use. Options, go ahead, use all that stuff. This, keep it on high. Patch even if stealth passes. Keep this at level 3. Trust the SSV2 angles. And this is really not recommended, especially if you want to go on live, which I don't condone. But uh, this is not recommended. And if you're running anything less than iExtreme 1.4, you might as well just update. <laughs> It's much easier to update than do this for every disc. Uh, rebuilding, use your default method. As for this, um, just saying, because some people have been confused on this, when you select region, this ABGX, it verifies and it can patch your games, but it will not patch regions on it, okay? So some people, I've seen what they do, they click every single region on here thinking that it's going to patch their game to be region free. And then they get excited because it shows as region free on the um, on the list here, but that doesn't mean anything. You can't region patch the game. It's unfortunate, but you just can't region patch it. So if you select every single one of these, you're just telling ABGX I have a console for every single one of those regions. So for whatever console you want to play these games on, select that region only. Okay, that's it. Is everything on there? And that should be it. As you can see, everything has been verified properly. We have nothing but green and blue, which is what we're looking for. Go ahead, exit out of that. And that was an XGD2 game. So as you can see, our XGD2 game was all green on the first go. Um, and for XGD3, there's really nothing you can do. So that's about it, unfortunately. Anyways, now we're going to move on to burning.